Hey everyone, I'm so excited today because I'm diving in to 10 of the biggest lies about Cricut. These are misconceptions that you may have or may have struggled with in the past and we're gonna break all 10 of them down today so that you can overcome it. And this video is particularly perfect for a Cricut beginner. If you're excited, be sure to hit that subscribe button because this video will be so good and checking out all the other videos on our channel will help you master your Cricut. Are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Lie number one is that you cannot make money with your Cricut. And here at Makers Gonna Learn, we absolutely know that is false. The number one reason why we know it's false that you cannot make money with your Cricut is because we and all of our students have the ability to do so. The best thing that you need to know if you're interested in learning how to actually make money with your Cricut is to take the top two or three things that you can make and just put them out there to sell. It's false to think that there's no way to make money with your Cricut because you would constantly need to be buying more and more stuff. The secret here that you need to shift when you're thinking about making money with your Cricut is focusing on getting an order and then fulfilling the order. Where it is true it could get very expensive and you could never make any money with your Cricut is if you make 10 to 20 different items and then feel like you have to figure out how to sell them. When I work with my students inside of Design Make Sell Inner Circle, our group coaching program, I find that the students of mine that are constantly trying to make, make, make and then figure out to sell is just trying to delay the process of selling right? They don't want to get comfortable selling, so they stay in their comfort zone of making. So what I want to offer you today is if that is you and you're like, Tanner, I really want to figure out how to make money with this machine, I want to encourage you to take the top two or three things that you can make, go out there, put them out there with photos, and figure out how to sell. You can sell locally, you can sell on Etsy, you could do any of the sorts, but the focus is getting the order and getting the sell and then worrying about the making. Because for a lot of us, we need to focus on getting better at selling than making because we're already great at being a Cricut crafter. If that interests you, be sure to check out our five secrets training right down below. It's one of my best free workshops and you'll get a lot of information out of it to help you in the selling process. Lie number two is Cricut is hard to use. And this right here, my friends, is the furthest thing from the truth possible. Did you know that a Cricut machine is actually the easiest die cutting machine to learn how to use and operate? That is why it's my tried and true absolute favorite. And y'all know I've looked at all the different die cutting machines on the market. So the first thing to note is that we have to acknowledge that the Cricut is the easiest machine to use on the market, right? Because if you start comparing it to a silhouette, if you start comparing it to all the other types of cutters on the market, you could get very scared very quickly because their software is so much harder to use. Now that doesn't take away from the fact that Design Space does take some time to get accustomed to for the simple fact that it is new software. So what I wanna encourage you to press into is number one, know that it is fairly simple right and number two is we're here to help you we have training on absolutely anything that you need to learn and you need to master i truly believe that cricut has some of the best software that is available on desktop laptops ios android available and you can master it I don't want you to feel like this software and machine is hard to use, but it may just take some getting used to and getting comfortable with it. The first thing that I would do if I'm someone who's struggling with mastering the software or learning Cricut is I want to encourage you to slow down and realize this is something new for you to learn right? You are going to first acknowledge that because once we shift from, hey, I know how to use the internet, I know how to use Microsoft Word and all these programs, but I've been using them for years and jump into something like Design Space and realize, hey, I've got to start from the beginning. It's a really freeing. So what we do here at Makers Gonna Learn inside of our uh, membership, we teach a full 30-day program. 
It's very detailed, it's very in-depth, and every single member can get it. You could have access to the full 30-day curriculum for as low as $27. It's insane. So definitely consider it. I'll put a link to our membership down below. It doesn't mean you cannot get a ton of value out of our free videos, but if you want a step-by-step -step guide that gives you the roadmap to success, I would love to offer you to join the membership take our 30 day challenge. I promise you, we'll teach you everything you need to know about your cricket, or you, or you can use our YouTube channel and get a ton of free support and training every single day. So that's up to you, but you can do whichever one you want. We've had so many thousands of students have success in our course, and I'd love to offer that to you if you are still struggling with making your cricket user-friendly and getting the crafts out of your machine that you expected when you purchased it. I think it's a big misconception when people think that buying the machine is the hard part. It's bringing it home and having the confidence to get it out of the box and the confidence to push through when you have a craft fail. Lie number three, I actually believed for well over a year or two into my Cricut journey, and that is that I can only use Cricut products. Y'all, I used to only purchase Cricut vinyl, Cricut heat transfer vinyl, Cricut weeding tools, Cricut, Cricut, Cricut. I was like, if it's not Cricut, I don't want it, right? And believe it or not, I was shocked to realize that there are sometimes on occasion, and now more frequently than not, so many better brands than just the Cricut brand. And it's been so cool to expand my knowledge and expand on more affordable and better quality products. So my friend, if you're someone who has only been purchasing Cricut vinyl, Cricut heat transfer vinyl, anything of the sorts, and you're struggling, there are particular Cricut products that I find are actually harder to use. So right now, a lot of the Cricut vinyl I find is harder to weed. A lot of the Cricut uh, iron-on or heat transfer vinyl is harder to cut and weed. Um, and all of their smart vinyl products for me, it's very expensive and just not easy to use. So if you have thought, Tanner, I can only use Cricut brand everything, I wanna offer it to you today that you could use off-brand products for a cheaper price and a better quality. And we have so many examples of this on our channel. Inside of that 30-day curriculum, we go through every single product that is tried and true. And if you have not been a part of our membership and got that 30-day training, holy cow. If you think our YouTube channel has all of our secrets and our best tips and tricks, in that training program, we go into way more detail. So definitely consider checking it out. And if you're already a member, oh my gosh, like revisit it because we have so much great curriculum inside of there. Lie number four is you must have Cricut access to utilize Cricut Design Space. And this is so far from the truth. Did you know from the investment into the machine that you have access to Cricut Design Space absolutely free? Absolutely free. You're not having to purchase a membership from Cricut to get access to their program or their software. Your purchase actually grants you the access. And believe it or not, before you even buy a machine, you could technically try out the software just to make sure you like it. So feel free to do that. I actually recommend that to a lot of beginners and it helps people learn the software before they even get their machine. So the reason it's a myth to think that you have to have Create Access to utilize the software is because Create Access simply kind of unlocks a vault, right? It unlocks the door to the Cricut vault of over a couple hundred thousand designs. And that's all it's doing, right? The number one thing that I do not enjoy about Cricut Access is that their education and curriculum per project is very poor. For example, you could have a very in-depth project and the steps would be like, cut it, put it together, you're done. And I find like the, that training and that education is not going to help you as the consumer actually master the project. So that's why what we do is we give you a lot fewer designs and we give you a lot more training so you actually can do what you set out to do. 
So Cricut Access is perfect if you're someone that just wants access to a lot of files, you just want to search a term, find it real quick, bring it in, and you have the knowledge, you may really enjoy Cricut Access. But if you are someone that really wants to go deep with your machine, I don't think you need Cricut Access to do that. The next lie is that you must have the latest Cricut machine and that the latest machine is the best machine. And ever since the Cricut Explorer 3 came out and the Cricut Maker 3 came out, I have had to disagree. There has been some things about these newer machines that I don't love as much as I love about a, um, a original Cricut Maker or the Cricut Explorer Air 2. I truly believe that some of these more legacy machines are still so awesome. They still have great cut quality. They still run great. You find that they have less errors and it's just not true that having the latest and greatest means it's also the best, right? Because here at Maker is gonna learn, we don't use any of the smart material. And truthfully, to do a lot of the speed cutting and a lot of the features that is available with the brand new Cricut machines, the three series of the Explorer or the Maker, you have to use the smart material. And for me, investing in that smart material just isn't um, economical and not going to benefit me to get those results. So therefore, for a lot of us, you can still purchase and utilize your Explorer Air 2, your original Cricut Maker, and still have amazing quality, and it's still working very, very well. So don't feel like you have to have the latest, the greatest machine to have the best machine. For you, it could be the current machine you have, that is the best one for you. So don't feel pressured to constantly upgrade until there's a true reason for you to do so. The next lie that I totally think is not true is that I need to be tech savvy to utilize Cricut Design Space. And believe it or not, we make it super simple for you to learn Design Space from giving you introductory tours to teaching you project by project. You do not have to be a tech wizard to master your Design Space software. What will naturally happen when you craft alongside us, you attend one of our free trainings, you watch our live streams is you're going to learn what the pro crafter does from our team and you're going to be able to just mimic it right you'll be able to follow our steps on the keyboard you'll be able to follow our mouse along you'll be able to see how we weed a project and that right there my friends is how you become confident it's just watching what people that have went before you do and have done so that you can just do that instead of pulling your hair out, trying to figure out how to kern a font or how to combine layers or anything of the sorts, you can just watch people that have gone before you and how they do it. That's why it is simply a lie that you have to be a tech expert. You have to be tech savvy to truly master your Cricut machine. Another lie that I hear all the time is that I'll have to do it all on my own. And believe it or not, in 2010, when I got my first Cricut machine, I felt the same exact way. I constantly felt like, oh my gosh, no one is using a Cricut around me. I'll never be able to talk to anyone about it. And guess what I did? I turned to YouTube. And now YouTube is such a great source for you to be able to consume and get to know everything you need to know about your machine. And it is such a false misconception that you're gonna to have to do it all on your own. Here at Makers Gonna Learn, you can join our membership and get access to our monthly Craft Along master classes that are hosted on Zoom. You can have access to our weekly live stream here on YouTube. You have access to so many past classes and so much more, and have access to our amazing community. So if you have in real life questions, in real time, get real responses really quickly. Joining our membership and having access to that community is the reason why you won't do it on your own. You won't have to do that and it'll be so much better for you to have a community of like-minded crafters behind you to help you when you get stuck. Another lie that is so far from the truth is Cricut only cuts vinyl. I think that is such a misconception, but our minds can quickly go to, oh, I have to make a vinyl project. But the fact of the matter is these machines cut fabric, they cut felt, they cut leather, they cut wood, 
they cut paper. There's so many different things that you can cut with your Cricut. I want to encourage you, if you've been stuck in using one or two material, I want to challenge you to pick a new material to try. Think about cutting felt for the first time. Think of cutting cardstock for the first time. I just taught a class on how to make a card and you would be shocked at the amount of people who had never made a card. I want to encourage you, card making, paper crafting, one of the easiest, most affordable crafts inside of the Cricut machine that you could utilize today for your crafting. And it is so much fun. The cool thing about paper crafting is if you make a mistake, it's a very cost effective for you to just replace it. A sheet of paper is not that much and that way you can learn a lot and do a lot with your Cricut machine. The next lie that I see a lot of first timers believing is that I'm going to have to pay two to five dollars for a cut file image. Now we know that is completely false and not true because first at Makers Gonna Learn, you have access as soon as you join for $27 a month, you have access to over 10,000 plus designs. I believe our library is over 13,000 designs, which is incredible because you also get the education, the motivation, the inspiration, and the community inside of our container. You also can look at Cricut Access. For their monthly membership, you can also join and have access to their files. So it's not exactly true. You're going to have to go to Etsy, go to all these other places and purchase designs individually. There are places that you can partner with and have access to amazing libraries of designs that fit your style and fit what you're looking for so that you can go to them over and over again. A lot of our members end up canceling Cricut Access because we give them everything they need and more, plus that education element that a lot of the other communities out there are truly lacking. Last lie that I really want to hit home is that the Cricut accessories like the auto press, the mug press, things like that are the best. Believe it or not, we have found some very affordable uh, products that we prefer that is different. For example, instead of having just a Cricut mug press, we were able to get a convection oven for about half or almost a third of the price. And we can do more mugs or more tumblers for the least amount of money. So that is able to give us more projects for a less time. For us to do a skinny tumbler, for example, in a Cricut mug press, it takes quite a bit longer, like four times the time it would take for us to do it inside of a convection oven. So don't feel like all of the Cricut additions and the Cricut accessories are the only ones you guys could use. All right, my friends, these are 10 of the lies that I constantly hear about Cricut. What I want you to do right now is comment down below which lie have you believed before? Which lie when you got your Cricut were you on board with and you believed? And let us know where you're at today. Have you overcame all of these? Are you still struggling with anything? Let us know, let's have a conversation down below. If you're new here, we have an amazing Cricut Confidence Crash Course. It's completely free, it's a workshop. We pour out our entire soul in it for you, so check it out link down below. It is so, so good. And of course, if you want to continue on watching some of our amazing videos, I want you to check out this video right here. It's going to help you with your Cricut so much, and I think you'll be really surprised with the results here. So I'll see you in the comments over at that video too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.